the final is worth 100% of all of your grades, meaning if you fail this final, you get an F in every class you're taking this semester and you get dropped from college. Now, everybody ready? No, yeah. I think so. Okay, you may begin the exam. Pencils down! Pencils down! Pencils down! That's it! That's it! That's it! It's over! Welcome to college, the magical land where you'll transform from a bright-eyed high school graduate to a caffeine-fueled, sleep-deprived expert at Googling everything you forgot from the class. Here you'll experience the thrill of being surrounded by thousands of your peers, all equally confused, while desperately trying to decipher the fine print of your student loans. You'll explore fascinating subjects like how to survive on three hours of sleep, and don't forget the joy of group projects, where you'll get to collaborate with that one person who mysteriously disappears right before the deadline. But look on the bright side, you're almost done. You're about to walk stage, so everything should be better, right? If you're just like me wondering this, don't skip this video. Bro. I'm 24 and I'm about to graduate, man. I don't know how to feel. I'm excited. I wouldn't say scared, but what's next? I don't want college to be the highlight of my life. Hey, I apologize in advance. I ain't eat nothing this morning. I had no breakfast. So after class, made a pizza. I'm about to tear this up, bro. On camera. I'm finna tear it up live. Yeah, stop playing. I mean, if they give me one right now, tear it up live. This pizza makes me feel a little bit better, but it's like, really, what's next? If you're in my situation, you already know. The closer you get to graduation, you just think, let's go, no more homework. But then like, man, are my friends gonna still be my friends a couple years later? What's really gonna excite me getting up? The days with no school, I'm not gonna hold you, I get really lazy. A little bit more about me, growing up, I moved around a lot. In middle school, each year I went to a different school. Elementary, each year I went to a different school. In high school, I went to three different schools out of the four years. So I'm just used to not really building connections with people like that. With Bethune Cookman, you know, being there for four years, and now UCF, like the people I met, all my classes were with the same people. So now all these connections I'm building is really like maintaining it. Like what's next? It was from two years ago, like my circle from back then to now is completely different. And being 24, it's like that in-between of a young adult, but you basically a grown man at the same time. Like people starting families. It's like, bro, what's next, bro? Really, what's next? College will help you in what you want to do, but at the end of it, you gotta really think, what do I truly want to do? Outside of getting a job, how do I want to spend, how do I want to spend my life? Hey, I'm telling you, if you're in college right now, this is gonna fly by quick. I've already been in my program for a year. I don't feel old, I don't look old, but time is just, time will really sneak up on you, bro. Time will really sneak up. It's like, I know I'll be fine, but it's just every time I think about it, bro, it still hasn't even registered, you feel me? Yeah, a few more months, bro. So I post some more on YouTube just to really track how I feel. I know it'd be pretty cool like years later, be going back on these videos, just laughing at me like, dang. Like, why are you tripping, bro? Everything's gonna be straight. The best advice I can give you is just enjoy the process, man. It's gonna make you realize who you really appreciate and who you want to be around. Preparing to leave college can be both exciting and overwhelming. To make sure you're ready to leave, first thing you should do is update your resume. Update your resume and your LinkedIn. Before I didn't realize how important it is. I thought that app was just full of fake people because all the comments I see look like a robot wrote it. Companies, they really do check your LinkedIn. And people there, they're actually pretty active. Think of like a, a Facebook for professionals. You don't have to post often, but if you highlight what you specialize in, as far as your, your headline, nice profile pic, you'll be surprised what jobs you can land. The next thing you should probably figure out is your living arrangement. It's funny how I'm saying this because realistically, I have no idea where I'm finna live. I mean, most likely I'm gonna go back to, you know, my, my parents' place, but having an idea of where you wanna settle is pretty important. It kinda depends on the job, if it's gonna be remote or you're gonna be traveling. Just playing ahead gives you a little head start. As you stand on the brink of graduation, take a moment to soak it all in. The late nights, the friendships, 
the lessons learned, and the incredible growth you experience. This is your moment to shine. You're not just leaving college, you're stepping into the world full of endless possibilities. You're not supposed to know what's next, but with every challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow. Trust in your skills, stay curious, and don't be afraid to take risks. The future's bright, you've got this.